he's so good to us. And the Lord told Moses, he said, you go down and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Amen. You all know the story how Moses uh, come down and spoke to Pharaoh and, and told Pharaoh to let God's people go. But uh, Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Amen. And he wouldn't let him go. And God sent the plagues down one at a time until he got to the 10th plague, uh, which was the death of the firstborn. Amen. And God told Moses, he said, Moses, uh, there's a way to escape uh, this death angel. Uh, you take a lamb and you sacrifice it and told him what to do with the meat. Uh, but he said, take the blood, amen, and put it on your doorpost. And when the death angel comes through and looks upon the blood, it'll pass on over. Amen. Aren't you thankful for the blood tonight? Aren't you thankful for the blood? Amen. Moses could have told them right then uh, to see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. When the blood was over the doorpost, uh, the death angel come through. Amen. And went over the doors of the Hebrews. Uh, but it took the firstborn of the Egyptians, uh, the firstborn of everything, even the firstborn of Pharaoh. Pharaoh asked Moses before, he said, hey Amen, who is this God? Is he greater than me? Who is this God that I don't know that I should be afraid of? Hey Amen, they just didn't know this God of mine. He just didn't know this God of mine. Hey Amen, the devil likes to tell us, hey Amen, that we're not doing any good. He'd like to tell you you're wasting your time. He'd like to tell you you'll never get saved. He'd like to tell you you'll never get healed. Hey Amen, oh, but he just don't know the power. Amen of the God I serve. A uh, friend, we got power tonight through God from the finished work of Jesus Christ uh, that he did on Calvary. Stand still and see the power of God move. Amen. Pharaoh told Moses, said, get your people and go. Amen. His son had died and it got his attention. All the plagues. I thought all the plagues of the water turning to blood, the frogs, the lice, the flies, the, the hail hitting the ground and fire chased after it, the plague of darkness, of locusts, of bulls and blains. Amen. All the plagues uh, really didn't phase Pharaoh that much until he lost his firstborn. And when he lost his firstborn, he told Mo uh, Moses, you go and get your people and go. And Moses and Aaron by his side uh, led them out of bondage. Amen. Started on their journey to freedom. And soon as they started, they come and encamped against the Red Sea. Amen. I'd like to tell you tonight, it's not always going to be smooth. It's it's not always going to be easy. Uh, there's going to be valleys. Uh, amen. There's going to be storms. Uh, and there's going to be darkness. Uh, amen. But in the times of the storm, in the depths of the valley, uh, in the times of the sickness, uh, you just stand still and see my Lord. Uh, the salvation of the Lord uh, that is with you. Is he with me, preacher? You you better know he is. You hear me tonight. If you're saved, amen, he's with you tonight. Glory to God. Here they come up against the Red Sea. Amen. Couldn't turn to the left. Couldn't turn to the right. The enemy coming up behind. See, after they left, the Bible said Moses' heart was, or Pharaoh's heart was hardened again, and he went after Moses. He got his chariots and his army and chased them all the way down to the Red Sea. They could see, no doubt, the dust of the chariot's wheels. Amen. Coming after them. They couldn't turn to the left. They couldn't turn to the right. And in front of them was a sea. They didn't have nowhere else to look uh, but up. 
Amen. Sometimes, friend, when we are uh, got trouble all around us, uh, the only place we can look is up and just stand still right where you're at and see the salvation of the Lord. I've read where he brought a fountain up right in the middle of the desert. Amen. To give them drink and restore life. Oh, stand still tonight and see the salvation of God. Couldn't you hear the people? Moses, what are we going to do? Moses, you've led us out here to die. We're going back into captive. Amen. We're going back into captivity. Uh, they're going to come and take our lives. We should have stayed slaves. That way we could have lived. Uh, but now you've led us out here to die. Amen. Ain't that just like the enemy? 